All oh, right, we're doing okay. We killed a horrible monster, so that's got that's that's going good for us. No more bad news now. Safe, safe. Oh no, a second monster! I swear to God, it's a lot of blood. There's some complicated machine here. It's not on or anything. I'll just leave it alone. What kind of valve could this be? I doubt it's anything important. I'll just leave it alone for now. I'm glad you can tell somehow. Ooh, exit. That's a good sign. I hope the story starts soon. Because we've, we've, got, we've got a while now without much story. It's pretty much just... The, the, the detective's pretty negligible, I would say, so it's mostly just the one scene with the lady in gray being all like, the drum is in the way. Something's inside. I doubt I can move it. Really? I don't know about that. You can just tip it over. It's, it's standing up. So far, the de like the detective probably comes up and, and plays a role in the story, but so far he's just kind of been the catalyst for the meeting with the lady. And the lady's like, remember who you all truly are. And that was kind of our one thing. It's pretty much just been Silent Hill Monsters since. So while I'm digging the world I'm playing through and the monsters I'm fighting, I feel like it was interwoven with narrative a whole lot more in Silent Hill 2, where like every time I finished an area, something would happen. Sometimes even within the area. And I even had a character I was trying to... I was kind of like escorting through the areas and... I had multiple people I was trying to track down. There's still the vagueness and a confusion to it all. Because that's how these games always are. But part of me feels like this game's not even necessarily giving me enough to be confused about yet. <laughs> ah. Can you get out? Oh, I think I had to be further from the ledge. I hear you. Now I see you. <laughs> I wish I hadn't. Eh. Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Did they both go inside there? Oh. That's weird they didn't come at me at all. Camera. Okay. Huh. <laughs> I'm a genius. That was some mad jukes right there. Anyway, the Silent Hill universe is pretty small. Like, really fucking small. There's not that many characters and plot points. At least at this point in the third game. So, if they're gonna have a mystery reveal about my identity, there's not a lot of actual options, so I probably already have it figured out. I probably have some sort of connection to Alessa. Because there's like nobody... It's like there aren't really other characters to be connected to, necessarily. It's either that or my origin or whatever. Remember my true nature thing is like just something that's brand new. So it's either a brand new thing, in which case I can't guess it, because it's not a mystery based on previous games, or I'm, or I'm something to do with Lessa. There's stuff all over, but definitely not. Nothing worth bringing along. It's like Marie... Like Mary or Alessa, right? I can't get in. There's an iron grate blocking the way. And admittedly, Mary got a whole DLC expansion mini campaign. But honestly, they kind of just feel like they're done with her.
Where have I gone? Where have I gone? I thought I was gonna... Huh. Was I just lowering the water level and that's it in that previous area? The one, the one before the one I was just in? Because I totally thought the point was to open a door or something, like establish power. I didn't go to the end of the hallway because in my head I thought that that was going to be the way I was supposed to go. And frankly now I'm so far off I probably... Uh, this would be a bit much to go back. Hope it wasn't anything really important back there, in that one direction I checked. Whoa. It's like almost first person. In my head, I'm building it up as being like the most important thing. There was a sh mega shotgun in there. But in reality, it was probably like one broken door. <laughs> and absolutely no content or something. That's a lot of the area. I think I'm technically outside right now, which is the f which would make it the first time in the game, but it's really hard to tell. Can I look up? Technically, but not in a way where I can tell what I'm looking up at. It seems to be a curtain that's around a building. I don't know. Getting flashbacks to the space between game that I played with Stephanie recently. With these curtains. Don't they put this kind of curtain up around scaffolding? Like, is there scaffolding inside this curtain? Is that what's inside? Whatever it is, I feel like this tarp is not a sufficient barrier if I really want to get out. Oop. Save point. What? Okay, I was holding the I was holding the look where I want button, and it was having it, that was getting some weird results. Neat. So I guess we're moving forward to new area. I'm not really chasing anything though, which is what's weird. I guess this is just all in pursuit of the idea of me getting home. Like she's still just trying to get back to her house, I guess. Cuz I'm there's no character I'm following into all these into all these locations. It basically just is the fact that the world around me is shaped like this. The primary thing determining my actions is level design itself as opposed to a particular urge. Like, I don't think she thinks going inside this building helps her get home, necessarily. I doubt this is the way home for her. But it's the literally the only direction she's able to go in, so I guess that's her character at the moment. Electricity's off. The elevator won't work. And so we find ourselves in a new location. I guess it's an apartment building? That wasn't a good sound. I didn't like that. Oh, the sounds sound so real. Like, these sounds are so video gamey. And they sound really, like, low bitrate and chunky and stuff in a way that's familiar video gamey. There's like a- there's often a familiar distance between how video games sound and how reality sounds. So many sounds in this game though, like the random ch clunks and chunks and bangs you hear in the background, they sound like they're happening in the room with me and it freaks me out. <laughs> It's almost like the contrast is on purpose, like the game lulls you into a sense of like, see, video game noises, listen to these footsteps, look how f listen to how fake these footsteps sound. And then like real ass, like way too real sounds play around you and you're like, huh? Third level, ceiling, has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Fourth level floor is crumbled. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> one, one floor's floor, one floor's floor is another floor's ceiling.
electricity is off. The elevator won't work. Well, I got here without the elevator. Fuck you. Ah. <laughs> I had to look at the OBS. I had to look at OBS to see the sound wave moving. I'm like, yes, that is happening in the game. That's just what it sounds like when it's just too it's just too real. I don't know why I'm it's it's this might seem weird that I'm remarking on this so much, but I'm not used to games sounding like they're real. <laughs> it's really unusual. There are paint cans in the box. I guess you'd use it on the walls. I just think of like there's somebody who works on who likes to work on the garden in the backyard. And like I get to hear these banging noises here and there when they're hammering the planters together and stuff like that. And like it's just it sounds exactly the fucking same. I don't need it, that's for sure. The muffled banging that ha of one somebody's actually banging something in your proximity in the backyard or downstairs or whatever, or even just knocking on a uh, knocking on a wall. This definitely all has like the calm before the storm feeling. I haven't encountered anything for a while. Stop banging. Lots of empty bottles and cans. It looks like somebody was living here. I think it works on a separate layer because it's also in the background of my head. Like in the back in the back of my head, that's the kind of sound I'm like, oh god damn it, is that showing up in the recording? So I'm like hyper aware of those kinds of bangs. Ugh, filthy mattress. Drop it into the hole? I guess. You let for I mean it's an option for some reason. I guess that means I'm gonna jump down the hole. Let's look around first. Seems ill-advised, but okay. There's a little home made up of cardboard boxes and old blankets. I guess a squatter was living here. That's kind of neat. Yeah, it's a little shelter. Yeah. Huh. Okay, that's a real sound. That's a dog. That's a real dog, not a video game dog. Stop it. Oh, god damn it. Why? <laughs> not now. Oh, I can hear howling outside. Maybe there's still trick-or-treaters. It's late Halloween night. So maybe there's trick-or-treaters rallying up the dogs. And then once one of them makes noise, one's blocks away make noise if they're the type. I guess that's it. I guess the idea of this kind of fort, because like you might think like you're already indoors, why do you need a fort? But I think it's a body heat issue. I think that if you enclose yourself like that, you end up uh, capturing your body heat better and staying alive better. Also, it might be feel cozier than looking around in this place at night, especially if the whole place isn't lit. I don't know. This is kind of a terrifying place to just sort of sleep around at. What was the other place? The subway location where the guy was dead. I dropped the mattress in the cushion. I should have no problems jumping down now, which we've just decided to do for some reason, I guess. We dead. She's just recklessly jumping in holes, not even having much reason to think she has a reason to go in there. Oh, well, there's no return now, except I can probably open the door from the inside to the staircase. And we're just kind of trapped down here. Ah, maybe you can go out there. Hmm. I don't have a map yet, I don't think, but I think this would take me back to the staircase. Oh, it's broken. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Ah, fuck. I'm out. That's pretty distinctly not what I want to have happen to me, is have those guys on both sides of me at the same time. Shit. We'll, we'll, we'll assess my health situation once the, once it loads. Ah! This looks non apocalypse for once. Kinda chill. I mean, I'm not amazing, but I'm not the- I'm not bad. This thing's garbage. There we go. The thing's so slow, it's unusable. The tabletop's covered in papers. I don't see any info that might come in handy, though. The mannequin catalog. I guess this is the reception area for a mannequin company. Are we just done with that area? We might just be done with that apartment complex or whatever that was. The crumbly place. It's a thermal carafe. There's nothing inside. A carafe? I don't know how to pronounce that. Hmm. A mannequin company. Look at this tiny door! Can I go in it? I think those are usually more like a circuit box or something, aren't they? Well, there's a lot of them. Does the giant door open? I can't click. This is a hallway full of several non-compliant doors. Okay, they're fucking with me, right? Like, look at that. There's that little guy, then there's that little guy, then that little guy, then the normal door, then that little guy, then this big-ass guy. Like, almost every surface of every wall is some variation of door. Like a fun house that's fucking with you with a bunch of pseudo-doors in a game where your primary goal is to find doors and, fi and figure out which ones work, basically. And use- that's like, that's the primary mechanic, essentially. R when you break it, like, there's a lot of mechanics, obviously, but like, really at the core experience of Silent Hill is the search for doors and which ones work. And keeping track of which ones work and finding out how to open the ones that don't work. So it's actually like a really weird, really wonka, like, funhouse bizarro thing to just fill a room with chaos doors. Okay. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Okay. Don't read the sign, go through the door. We'll let that be for a minute. Because there's enemies there. Great. Can't wait. Hello, creepy mannequin building. This is the only mannequin with a head. There's something weird about the headless ones. Like they can still see me or something. Ick. Die, mannequin. Oh. This game's gonna have- Yep, this game's gonna have mannequin fucking enemies. Yep. Here's a mannequin with no head or legs. I know it's an inanimate object, but it's still a little nervous. Afraid, maybe. Oh, fuck. They killed her! This- This is blood. Uh... Got all turned around. <laughs> Alright, well going in that room was a mis fucking mistake. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. <laughs> uh, why was it bleeding? Was mannequins people?
Oh, is the god god goddamn camera and dogs are my f fucking enemies? Ah, uh, god damn it! All right, well we're not doing this. Shit. Nope, nope. I can't fight two of them at once. I can't even accurately hit one of them. Whew. It is so hard to fight. Remarkable how many games there are where my nemesis is dogs. Okay. Not in the mood right now. I'm gonna go over here. Lots of doors open here. I'm not used to doors working. Yes! So we're at Hilltop Center. An office building. Okay, we have a map. I can work with this. Ah, I've already crossed the entire... Wow. I've explored a lot of the, the, the first floor already. Well, third floor, you know what I mean? My first floor. Explored a lot of it before I even, uh... Got a map. So I was starting off in the... Po it says Storefront Posables. Yeah, so mannequins. Is the name of the company on the left side of the building. And on my side of the building, we've got Monica's Dance Studio. So that's the big chamber I walked into full of dogs. Was the actual dance studio. And now this must be one of their offices. Hmm. It looks like the two doors that didn't open would have led to the bathrooms. The desk is all cluttered up. Doesn't look like there's anything I'm interested in. He's looking at it though. Hmm. New location once again. Yeah, so the last area was called the construction site. flyer for the dance studio. It's in pretty good taste, but I don't have time to appreciate it right now. I think you already did. Hmm. No bad sounds yet. Locker looks open. I can't seem to get past these stools. They're imper- I'm- they're, <laughs> they're too powerful for me. There's some magazines here, but nothing really important. One of them I've already read, and the other just doesn't interest me. Also, I'm on the verge of dying, so, you know, priorities. Just a calendar. Nope. Wall looked crumbly. Some kind of poster. Looks like there'll be a performance soon. I'm dealing with these guys. I need a gun. Because I cannot melee them. Good start. How are we doing on ammo? 34-33. What is that noise? What creature does that? Ah. That's just the sound a dog makes when ain't eating. There's the dance studio mirror. That's an enemy. We've encountered him before. Is 
Did I come here for a reason? see anything in there I thought that maybe there was maybe he was laying on top of something but the room looked completely empty weird such a big dead-end room you normally have to like fight a couple things and you get something at, like important out of it to progress or just some loot uh, but nothing as far as I could tell unless I missed it oh well good thing I only shot one of the dogs no more ammo wasted Yep. Yeah, shit. I forgot to kick the dog, it might still be alive. Whoops. Oh, that one's not alive. Well, that hurt. Hurting a little more for ammo now. But we're doing okay. Prindle and Enos Law Firm. Nope. Well. Yeah, these are the locked bathrooms. So I guess it's where does this direction lead? Huh. Nice and quiet around here now. Uh... We'll leave that for later. I get the feeling she might go for it. It's a poster advertisement for a dance studio. Who cares about that right now? Afraid to go into that elevator because she might actually try to open the elevator and jump in. And that's a, that would be a point of no return. Now where am I? Now we're on the th there's the third floor staircase. Let's just be sure I didn't leave anything behind. Nope. Just more elevator. All right then.